speaks to to how how much pain have impressed us here uh, on on their major run. When you look at just the names on paper, Pain heroic should be here. should be massive yeah. favorites coming into this, right? But Pain have been surprising at every turn. Uh, whether that's you know in Big Azera, who very much takes the limelight, or, or Nissim, as you mentioned, for me, I, I really enjoyed watching Cowers and kind of the redemption arc that he went on from being the second bottom rated player for for the entire opening stage. He had a kind of late recovery in in, in the uh, closing segments of that stage for Pain, and in that game versus VP, he was a monster. He was like the one guy delivering any hope for Pain. Pain Gaming. Yeah. Well, we've got a bit of a ramp rush in this pistol for Pain, starting on the T side of their pick, and they go quick. Not down towards lower, or at least not instantly. Rooting for hell, no one's here. It's into Tassez at the bottom site. He needs to take one with him, but that glass is a problem. It sucks up the bullets, kicks and shoots through it. And Tassez somehow surviving, gets alive with two kills. I don't know how the hell they keep five up there, Heroic, but they do. Beautiful from Kicksand, bro. That was a, a, a lovely sequence. That's one of those rounds where it just feels like the stars align for you as they're crossing in control. Look at this. Look, he's actually aiming at the guy at the back, just taps twice and finds the double from it. Very well done from Kicksand to, to keep control of lower. <laughs> even even Nerds who's blown away by what just happened there. Round's over before the rotates were even required. What's been really cool to see from Pain in this event is the level of teams they've taken out, right? Well, we have Ecstatic who defeated Limvision and the Mongols, of course, especially the latter side of that, very impressive, but Pain have had to fight only EU teams on their run through the opening stage, and they've managed to defeat almost everyone. It's sure, a dominant loss to Eternal Fire, but they took down Apex, Ent, and Saw to get through to this stage. So I think there's something to be said for that when we talk about the different, the base level and the difference between EU and Americas and of course, this major kind of subverting all of that conversation, whereas where both Americas and Asia have gained more spots in the next for Shanghai. So I think that's pain, pain of the evidence of that for sure. And with Imperial already eliminated early on today and, and certainly expectations for pain to be the same, I think their run so far has been nothing short of impressive, but will it come to a close? Kicks and thinks so. Flash through the hut and dropping Nissim in a five on four. I ain't going for this outer yard take. They've done the uh, diagonal smokes and the waterfall smoke up on top of main. This gives you a nice bit of leverage to try and take away some control. They'll walk through over, over into garage, getting past Nerds. Kicksand trying to deal with this presence out in the yard is only good for one, as Lux will trade that out. Still, the advantage sides with Heroic. And it's a nice bit of info to know that Lux is still floating around main right now. Tess says on his lobby push is caught by Cowes. And so Pain now set their sights on Crunch in this upper site by the looks of things. Ready to split through main is Lux. And Shush spotted out on the rafters, tries dropping in, and he will get there on a good timing. Now he's got support from Nikodaz over in heaven, and they'll swing that final player together. So very composed to open up from Heroic. Yeah. Even though it gets a little dicey after they, uh, they lose Tessas back in the lobby, they're able to swiftly move into a, a nice position to play out that 2v2. Just positionally, there wasn't much room for Pain to make that interesting. It all kind of was was dependent on dealing with Shush as he drops into the site. Yeah, if you've just come from that ecstatic game and you want more Danes to root for in Copenhagen, well, this is your safe bet, right? With the uh, the Danish core of the ex-heroic, uh, sorry, not ex-original heroic players, plus Nikodos making a redemption arc formerly of the Copenhagen Flames, where we saw back-to-back -back deep major runs for that squad. Uh, you know, Stockholm almost into the playoffs and Antwerp just about getting there. So, Nikodos, I think, has been one of the more positive surprises for this roster at this event, playing very, very well in the AWP. And he's been a player played by consistency across his career and time at Fnatic, but not here so far. Good shots. 
But Nissim, he takes one more with him. 3v3, slowing down this ramp retake as Heroic Group. And no noise has been heard by Pain, so they could take an educated stab in the dark that this is a triple ramp retake. No ground gained over towards Secret for Heroic as out. They just have to move out through the ramp room, and that feeds Ooh. this M4. Go quick. One back from Nikodos, but Bomb is getting away from Heroic. They try to get on it. Cover provided as this AK inerts looks to deliver. He oh. loses his teammate, and Big Azera will be the one to close. Of course it's Big Azera, and he one-taps him with a P250 at range while he's getting that other player off the Bomb. Sick close. I mean, the time was the big issue. He had to stick the defuse on Heroic, but... Pain play off each other very nicely in that post plant. They get on the board early in this game, off of an eco as well. Explosive ramp hit. Great flash. Oh. Nerds like commits to that because he just thinks his crosshair is in the perfect place, but this time hits a banger. That gun gets traded back to Tessas. Nikodos going to try to find a good time to blow these smokes open, but. Because they're uh, not found out in the yard. Rest of Pain still waiting back in the lobby. That re-smoke at the door is the uh, last bit of util available over on this top site. So they don't have the option to drag this round out anymore to, uh, to Heroic. They still have a smoke on Nikodos. He's just not in a position to use it. Going to get himself up into the heavens, but Payne have already got so much real estate that this is going to come down to, to these two having to step up massively. They both drop into the site. Bait and switch, maybe. It's all a fake to find the gap, and they found it on ramp. They don't need to go. The only issue is time. You don't want to leave it too late, but both B is clear, and heaven is about to be taken, so... Oh, they're going ramp with the bomb. Yeah, just because they've got control of the site. Nissim should still be winning the round off of kills here. Oh, he's playing very safe. He's playing anti-save right now. If I try and exit CT, they will get caught. But they might go the other way entirely. With that B gap found from outside. Ramp to B leaves Pain with five alive. It's something I've really liked about Big Azera is he's got a real, you know, variety of paces to his call. He uh, he loves playing around with the the kind of tempo that Pain approach rounds with. They're very good at slowing down in rounds like this one, so they they just keep it safe, they keep it clean. Saw how this started for them, where it's far more up tempo. And so already he's kind of exerting a bit of that into the server now. And where that becomes problematic for Heroic is, you know, picking and choosing your timings of when you're going to lob out this early util. Do you want to be dunking Molly straight away in the door and hurt? If you're not expecting Pain to be playing quickly, then you might try and hold on to them. And so that's usually when those pace changes come in. This round all starts on the back of that peak. And just a, a very measured round where so much of it is, is about gauging the reactions of Heroic after they get that opener. And that leads Pain onto a flawless second with five alive. They're making some money now over on this T side, and it's not going to get any easier anytime soon for Heroic. Oh, aggressive attempt, but denied. They don't know a second player is right here and trying to grab that gun quick. He makes noise. This him goes through the smoke. Gonna get spotted. There's no support here for Nerds right now. He might not need it, but L player nowhere to be seen. He wins his fight. Because there are somehow in secret and Nikodos any further it's guaranteed death. Oh I said guaranteed. Oh, that's ugly. This Don't is a big this. problem for Pain. Oh. Even that peek at the door scuffs the molly. It's very awkward. As now they're just left with this top side oh. hit. The Zeus of Shush finds a gun, finds a kill. And now he's armed with the AK. 
Scavenging from the bodies of pain. Bomb is also tumbled out into the open with that first peek. Uh, and here's the backstab arriving from ramp. NQZ is just saving. That is a disastrous round. From Big Azera whiffing on Nika Dolls looking the wrong way to a Zeus kill. Even some support for Nissan would have been nice, right? Just chasing down that ramp player, but you always expect support from Hell. There was Heroic just doubled up, stacked in the A site. They're coming for this gun as well. Winning an eco gives them that freedom. Do they want to kill him after time, or is this as far as they'll go? Kicks and May as well. He's going back to find a gun. So, Hiroko happily take that. 4-2, to two, winning an eco, getting out with three AK-47s. Could not really be better. And a very uncharacteristic whiff from Big Azera yeah. was kind of the, the real fall down of that round. That's the kill that just turned the tide so abruptly and so suddenly. Payne weren't ready to lose that fight. Big Azera is definitely calling. Guys, just wait. I have a kill here. You saw him a few seconds earlier. He had all the time in the world to get ready for that fight. And once that happens, they don't really have the real estate to go anywhere but A into that Zeus. Which is a crazy statement, but they're very, very strong. And so Payne might try and keep it a little more simple here and now. No longer an outside lurk for Big Azera. Instead, everyone waiting back in the lobby. It's Molly's nice. It's for the rafters, I think, right above the hut. So it clears out an extremely difficult angle to check manually. Dixon's hut roof, he's forced off as well. They're out in the middle of the site, so blind. Shush still recovers, and this is petering out right now for pain. One by one by one, and they all fall at the first hurdle. There's him inside of the smoke. He's actually traded places. He doesn't even know he's walked past Nerds. He might never know. Oh my. <laughs> That's even checked. Will Nissim come back late? Or does he want to try and wrap heaven? Orb spotted in the hut. Good grenade. Hits the shot and gets out. Giving Nissim the room to pounce. Surprising for him. 2v2. They're in this. Is Nissim going to try and take the heavens? Right now, he's being given the time to. 30 seconds, and he is all the way up. Missed shot from NQZ's orb. That is a, a big miss to have had, but Nissim Maybe. should still have this in the bag. And now that he's got heaven, the world's their oyster, man. This re-aggression in through the lobby needs to arrive in quick time and got to take this 1v1 onto NQZ while it's available. Tess says... They know that he's eluded this. They know that he's somehow disappeared and not fallen for this heaven wrap, so they should be able to piece together it's this lobby play. But he's made it out into the site. Even once he deals with this AWP of NQZ, Nissim, he's got so many options to play with, and he won't nice. even make it past the AWP of NQZ. That's such a nice setup as well. He just dedicates to his side, or the heaven player covers him. But I do wonder how... That's overlooked that Nissim's going heaven. They knew where he was. He hadn't committed through main. Heroic can see that. The only other option is heaven. And even though Tess has resets and gives that timing open, it feels like Nikodos just considers it a second too late. The smoke gives him cover in the site, but he just stays in the open to heaven. That's a crazy round for Payne to have picked up. And it all starts with that weird mistiming between Nerds and Nissim yeah. over in main. It felt like it was going to be inconsequential in the moment. That was how much of an advantage Heroic had. But a well-placed AWP kill from NQZ, the lack of the punish from the site player, that triggers Nissim's play through main and onto the heaven wrap. And so P Pain... Pain... <laughs> Pain cook up... <laughs> Pain cook up a, a, a 2v4 round. That they do. Only three M4s as well. Heroic's money on the line. Competitive beginning for Pain. Considering they win their first round off an eco, and then they pick up a 2v4 like that. Lobby rush denied onto Nissim, and they give up all of outside. Pain will have to cross down towards secret, but there's a nade on the smoke. They cross after the fact. No actual spot for Heroic. Of course they hear this, they're aware. 
but they can't stop it. They're actually further than Nerds is ready for. He's throwing a deep smoke and trying to swing with it. Tessa is now in the sight. Oh, the shadows he sprays, and he at least gets a kill there, but three on three. Pain have been solid in these post plants so far. Plant in and heroic. Once again, largely grouped over the ward's ramp. Curious if Nikodos wants to play late or early. Might wait for his ramp players to take a bit of contact and give that illusion that once again, Heroic a triple retaking through the ramp room, which they often have. But a lot of time has ticked off this bomb. It's a Heroic, Can't yeah, it. it all comes down to that first fight and the moment they don't win it with them leaving so much time on the table, it's... Uh, it's an awkward retake round that never really gets going. It's like that last retake on B against the pistols, right? It, even though they get the kills, it comes down to a player forcibly sticking the bomb because they don't have a choice. They fight, they lose. So that was awkward for nerds because Nikodos just misses the cross, the spot on the cross. And so while he calls their secret, you wonder how you know, tonally he called that because they're running four players and nerds just thinks he has so much room there. He was not as quick as he believed. And they catch him with nades out. That is the first domino to fall in the B-bomb site. Heroic now, the second being their economy. And the third being this round. They have only a Zeus and an M4 saved. And I say only, Nika Doz likes to subvert expectation. Another opening killed a bigger Zera. The, uh, not another eco for heroic. Two opening kills in this one, and while ramps conceded, it's by design. Tessa sets up for a one and done on the B site. He's got a play baiting for him as well. Yes, yeah, so Kicksan takes the contact, and they're going to try and pull them into Tessa's deagle. That leaves all the pressure on Tessa's really. Kicksand certainly got the attention. He's done his part of the bargain. Now the Deeg has oh. to deliver and it just falls short. Cleanly done for Nissim on the openers. The bait and switch does not net the success that Heroic needed it to. And as they move down, they'll get sandwiched in the doors. So well contained from the pain squad. Yeah, nice crunch there, right? They, they already bring back a 3v5 to a 3v3 and then they just throw themselves at the pistols knowing with numbers, with better weaponry that Heroic are not going to win that fight in double doors. It's so important to take space when you have the B bomb site on this map. It's, you know, we talk about, for example, Ancient B. If you have it in a post plant, in an even three on three, five on five, there's not many places to play. You need a position with cover where you can choose your battles from. And the same can be said about Nuke B. You need that window control or double door control. So you don't, you're not just in the open on an off angle that will be cleared. So taking that double control gives them room in the post plant. It never gets to that, but it will be a 5-4 lead. We've had eco wins for both teams. But Payne sit up in control for now. They're looking for that point that really lets them just break away from Heroic and kind of set the... Uh, the Heroic squad onto the back foot in a big way, and this could be that round. Money Ooh. on the line for Heroic, so this one's important. Nikodos and Shush keep it safe for now. Nikodos wow. dead up on the rafters, but support is here, and it arrives in time for Heroic. Just luck, dinked on that first peak, but he gets his revenge. Can he take this any further? It's not a likely clutch with that first shot bringing him down to 19 points of health. Kickson. Kickson's getting impatient, but good timing on that molly pull. Warbang will do it. Run! Oh, he's been burnt out of the hut. So Lux forced to reposition on heroic say so. He feigns the footsteps in towards the ramp room, and now he's going to ease off, give a bit of time for that uncertainty to kick in for heroic. Eventually, they have to consider heaven. Heaven, main, door, hut. The longer he waits, every option is available. So Heroic will have to find new positions. Nerds knows that. And often a move here is just getting aggressive and clearing something together. So they're going to walk right into him. 
This could be good for Lux. He's going to get the chance to take an instant headshot here. How quick is he on the shot? He turns away and kicks and catches him on the move. Two timings for Kixon that are perfect in that round. Kixon also sits in the smoke and sprays his entire mag and still comes out with a reload and a kill on the execute. I like the pain up the pace and try and limit test in that round, but Rogue bring them back to reality. A really nice upper hold from Kixon and Nika Doz. So far, everyone's performing for Heroic with the exception of Nerds. He has won them an eco, but three and six on the star of this team. It's not really a worry. Just means when he does get activated, how hard will this be for pain? So many of their games, the Brazilians relying on Bigazera, the captain and the high fragger for this team. Such a rarity to see an in-game leader so consistently outlie his roster in not just statistics, but impact as well. Because Zera manages to find it almost every time. Four and eight right now, he crosses down secret. And Molly ticks, he's got to run now. Nerds knows about it. It's all a bit of a farce though. As pain set their sights on ramp. Gonna go right into Tessa as Nikodos is available for a pretty quick rotation as well. So he shouldn't be alone in this oh, entirely. Nikodos is gonna get into hell just in time, but the Molly forces him away. Even though the rotate was there, Big Azair is controlling they know, they the know about drop. this. They can't drop it. That's crazy. Don't don't do it again. Shush just can't drop. They can't rotate down. This is brutal. Yeah, the round is over. Nissim in with the backstab on a P250. He'd love the upgrade and he's going to get it. Maybe even shooting for more here as he goes looking for Shush. Call for a bit of help. Slow it down. He's actually going up. Nerds is also waiting. He knows they're going to come hunting. Nissim wins that fight from hell with the P250. And Nerds can fight his way out, but he can't win the round. NQC shuts him. And. That's a crazy entry on ramp. But the one hole that we're seeing right now is that there's never a second player on ramp, even if the map is entirely quiet. And they know about Bigger Zero down B. They for sure know about Bigger Zero down B. And there's only one ramp. That's the most common goal that you would split ramp to B while the vent rotation's being held. Kixon pulls into it. That's a surprising move for Kixon. And that was a very suffocating round out of pain. They wanted to take control of the money uh, in that A rush round where they try going fast out. They weren't able to do so, but they get their kind of delayed gratification here on the back of winning that round there and locking out those three players who were attempting to save. Leaves Heroic with next to nothing in the final round of the half. And so once again, they're going to go for this walk down towards Secret, but this time with numbers. Often it's been Big Azera here alone. And he will lead the charge down towards lower. But they actually get pulled back out. So passive for Nikodos. They have to clear this all the way and... Oh, it doesn't they look like they will. They haven't. They think Garage is clear. But the run boost. Oh my god. Oh, Nikodos, this is the round right here. Palm of his hand. Three oh kills. God. A lot of targets. He's got to hit every one of these shots. Nikodos! Does all he had to do, couldn't quite manage the third. Cowes will get the trade at least. Nerds now moving in, trying to punish this final man out in the yard. They know the bomb is dropped down in garage. And so Payne is caught a little bit scrambled because Zera hunting down this kill down towards lower. Cowes retrieves the bomb. But for the time being, everyone on lower's dodged capture by the captain of Payne Gaming. And this bomb is still trapped out in the garage. Because Zero eventually finds Kicksat, Nissip all the way through the A site. They've got both bomb wow. sites right now. And with it just left onto Tessez in a very unlikely 1v3, that slick double kill trigger discipline from Nikodos won't get capitalized on. Pain looking for a two round lead on the half, and they are good to get there. Very well recovered after the. Crazy play from Nikodos' is the Eagle. They yeah. will go on to close out the round so they don't get too flustered by that man waiting for them back in the garage.
what an impressive game out of pain right now when you consider you know, some of the rounds that Heroic have crept into this game, like you said, denying that money breaker on the top site rush, winning the eco with the Zeus, and still pain hold on to a commendable lead. This is their best map. Statistically, their most picked, where they took down Ents and Saw and the Mongols here in Copenhagen. But still, this is a red hot heroic who have already knocked out some big dogs. A 2 0 Eternal Fire for crying out loud. A top eight team already. And they made them look weak at points in that match. Even started by catching phase off guard on Ancient. And here for Heroic, getting dealt a heavy hand by Pain. Double Julies. Opens Cowes even pushing. Oh, that one's free. Shush drops into the lion's den. Quick vent drop out of Nerds with that bomb on his back. He's going to go try get the plant at bare minimum. Can they make it anything more? As now oh it is God. just Nerds. 1v5. Plant down at lower. That's all he's going to get, though. The Julies run him down. And even then, they take their time. They know he's in the single door. They've cleared out the site. They're going to come running together. And Cowes closes cleanly. Eight to five. A statement here for Pain Gaming. Written off after the RMR. Written off in the opening stages. And unexpected here in elimination. But right now, they are taking Heroic all the way. And it's safe to say, you know, like we, we've had our fair share of quiet players for pain. I think we, we've had these moments, as mentioned in the opening stage, especially where guys like Cowers were just nowhere to be found. But right now it feels like everyone is switched on for this pain gaming squad. Nissim leading the charge at the tip of the spear. But a supportive cast around him. And even with a couple of you know, whiffs in that first half of Big Azera, some unusual misses from the front man of pain gaming. They've still found a way to a very good spot in their map pick. And the opener of this elimination, BO3, if they stick the landing versus this force by, there is very slim margins for Heroic to pull this game back around. Looking like a ramp hit. Tessa is making it across in a secret, but I'll have his fair share of tests down towards lower as big as Aero lies in wait. Nissim holds on to ramp successfully for the first and now he hears more footsteps just going to go through the motions of dropping down ramp only one rifle in this entire round for heroic now so this is a hard situation to deal with even with the control they have on ramp and in secret just because of this double rotation down lower a is the weakest side bit heroic don't have the utility to consider a as a possibility Unless they want to try and wrap hell, but even that ladder's being held from the top. Roker desperately hoping for a kill. Nothing presented. They have to split B into this double setup, into the top performer in the server. And the captain waiting for Tessas. Sims run at can't control the spray, and hey. Big Azera has been picked up, waiting in the vents. That fight felt as good as done for Big Azera. He was ready for Tessas' late lurk in there. But Heroic have carved a path to oh, something no. here. Dink down range comes out from the M4. And so suddenly, oh, with Tessas nailing that one, it's just Cowes throwing into a 1v3 around wow. the pain. Thought they had in the bag. They had every reason to win that. That's shocking. I, yeah, I agree with you. I don't know how big his error missed. Maybe he just missed the timing on the peak and Tessa's drive by him with a Mac 10, but... Ramp is... Ramp was a huge issue for Heroic CT side, and I feel like Payne played Ramp perfectly in this round to get one kill and to concede and go into this double setup of B, but they weren't playing together, which is fine. Still, Nissim in the window gets a one-for-one, one, but those guns picked up used against pain, denying the retake. That was it for Nissan, 5v3. 
And Heroic force a save. Great work for Tessas. Him and Schuss have really done a great job on this team of proving that the ex players of Heroic weren't required to make this team a threat. And this new international squad can certainly rock it here at the Major. A Major where none of those ex-Heroic players appear. Sarah up close, cleanly done on the 5-7. Lux also lies in wait in the vent, and you might not expect the double vent rotator here out of pain. They've already got a lot of bodies down towards lower. The bomb is right here. Oh, the bomb's getting oh, pincered. The bomb's getting trapped. Tessez left oh. battling for his life, and he won't get out the third. We'll get the better of him. He does all he could. But it might not be enough with the bomb away from Heroic. One minute left to play with and a lot of uncertainty creeping over the round. You have to go down lower. Cow has just escaped death, certain death. Nurt was walking out upper. Cow is, sli is slinking down the vent. Could still be in trouble, but there's a trade. Available, the lineup is there. And QC, 1v1, loud drop, nerds. He has the health advantage, the weapon advantage, everything in his favor, but he can't close the round. And QC clutches up. And pain, loud and proud. They are stealing this map away. That is madness from NQZ. You felt like that was set in stone after they line up on that initial peak. Neither player ready to deal with the fight from Secret. And he's so low on health. NQZ, he should not be winning that versus no. Nerds for crying out loud. But we said it didn't really, or I said it didn't really matter that Nerds was going cold in this game because the other players are stepping up big. Heroic in control of the early game. But a streak of pain on the end of their T side. A pistol on top. And they win the conversion fight overall. With now back-to-back -back rounds. And that's after Tessas gets a 3k down secret. And still loses the bomb. Couldn't do more. And neutered nerds. 5 and 11. Oh, you want the... Rookie of the year to be playing from, uh, from last year, right? And embarrassed there after that 1v1 goes against him. That could have been the turning point round for Heroic. The kind of momentum break that puts a stop to pain and allows them to build back into it on their T side instead. They're left clutching at straws. They come through with another force by. I mean, that one was some slim margin, so they're looking to capitalize on it. They at least get this trade outside in the yard. We heard him in lobby. This is this isn't as comfortable as you like. Your feet show pretty obviously. It's just so you hide from main. Luckily, the AWP is covering this position, so even just NQZ missing will set up the shotgun for the for the trade. Although this aggressive angle, this might favor Shush here. NQZ close corner and he misses it. Shotgun falls in, jumping the gun, but it does find a kill. AWP is out. And so is this T by the vent. Not for long. Backstab sticks to the landing. Lots of damage Ooh. done to the two players out in the yard. 40 seconds to get weird with it, Heroic. This what do they want to do? They're going to split up. One man down towards lower kicks and keeps roaming over in main. And that bomb's going to come back up and join him. They've got to get past Lux with this scavenged AWP in at the back of the B site. Or A site rather. Lux scoped up. Looking down range, is he ready for kick sound? He's already crossed to the far side of main. He's gonna get the bomb instead. Might catch Nikodos as he walks in. They don't know about this AWP and they're gonna learn about it the time. hard way. With the time ticking away from them, Kixan needs oh. this kill and he won't get it. Just Nikodos left and this orb can win the round to time. Surely Nikodos can't do this. There just isn't time for the round and so Payne along it oh. out. Dude, the brotherhood of this roster, I'm loving it. The eye contact, the handshakes, everything. And this is a organization that felt like it left us with little to look at coming into this season. Off the back of Paris last time, right? Pain get 
cut apart this roster. We lose so many integral pieces, we feel. Zevi went cold to Paris in their elimination match. He goes, Skulls ends up in Liquid, Hardzow in Red Canids, and Payne still put together a fighting roster with a fighting chance as they do the dirty against Heroic in an elimination game in that very stage. And it's not just Big Azera either. Relatively unimpactful as an individual in this map. Payne still sits 10-6 up. It's the other stars shining. Nissim has had a great game. NQC has had an important clutch. Payne are giving Heroic exactly that. A prod to the side of the head. And down goes the Doz. 5v4 on an anti-eco. AK has been scavenged and retrieved by Tessas, but not for long. Cow is on a swing out through main. They're looking to end this round out in the yard. Nerds creeps out, but a little jumpy on the Glock. Won't get that one. Kickstand, good timing on this smoke push, but there's NQZ with an immediate trade. And it feels like, you know, the, the, the positioning of pain has been fantastic in some of these rounds. The, yeah. the kind of trade potential that's always been open for the pain squad. Paramount to the success so far. Wherever you're going, you feel like you're running into at least two players, but often more. Hero going to play more as a unit here because it's been very lurky and very, you know, wishy-washy T-side rounds right now. Slow walking, a lot of split plays. I think one of the things that's going to be hard there is that, like, Nerds is often the guy really left to his own devices to try and cause yeah. chaos and disrupt the back line, essentially, and, like, give roots for, for later in the round. With him being so quiet, does that become more of a liability for Heroic? Definitely. Because as this T-side goes on, you're going to see him in more positions like that, where his team are all kind of in one area of the map, concentrated there. He'll be left roaming to his own devices. But with him falling so quiet here, is that going to offer up freebies to Pain? Well, we've seen the lobby aggression punish already. And that's, you know, if we have Heroic going for four outside, that's where you're going to find the sat back in the lobby. It almost feels like... Uh, an easy thing to abuse when you look at the scoreboard and you see this Rookie of the Year, 5 and 13. Do Heroic have anything left in the tank? We had such higher expectations. They had far better results, but right now not playing to their peak. And Payne exploit that with some fantastic rounds in this map, in their pick, of course. Tess is crossing up a nose, but Bigazera is in the corner. Can he escape? They've not got a Molotov to flush him out. He is in no pressure to swing from this position. He's got support as well. Where there's one, there's often more. Cowers keeps their eyes on main. Big Zera escapes and comes back up top. Hearing that vent break gives you so many more questions than answers yeah. if you're heroic. What does that even mean is what they're thinking right now. Has Big Azera come up or has someone else gone down? Aggression into the lobby. We said nerds. Will he okay. be someone that is exploited by pain? Well, there he gives them a leg up in the round. Oh. They struggle to get past Lux and they even find... No way. That's the one. Climbing up through the vent. Big Azera with the backstab leaves it all on Nerds. 1v2 as he starts to plug in the numbers. He's unaware where this second player is. And NQZ will surprise him. So. No clue where he got to in that round. And Nerds learns the hard way. Payne are running away with this. And, you know, while we had a kind of back and forth start to this map, it has been no question since we've gotten into the second half. Pain putting up a great CT side. You can see why they picked this one. It's 12 rounds to three for Heroic since those opening pistol and conversion rounds. Unbelievable just response from Pain. This has just not even been close. It's been clinical. They've been suffocating Heroic in every round. No clutches can be cooked up. No heroic plays. No savior in this server. And the thing that is just so cool about it is as this has gone on, you've seen the cast around Big Azera get so much better. The, the, the depth is there. The talent is there. 
And over time, Payne have got to flex that. Because Era hasn't had to do much in this game. That round there, he had great impact going up and down the vent, constantly being a threat to Heroic out in the yard. But it's not like this is coming down to him having to bait his teammates and make some miraculous plays happen. No, they're the ones doing the heavy lifting. And so across the board from top to bottom, Painter is showing a great face here. NQZ has been so frustrating to deal with, and he's going to start this round on the AWP to the betterment of pain. Kicks and trying to hit this timing out through the heart. NQZ's AWP just keeps finding success. It's so heroic. It could be a whimper here. They're trying to do something in this 2v4. They've got it down at even odds. Plant found, but NQZ takes up position. Ready and raring to go. He waits for Nissim to join him. Shush is going to be this first point of contact. That <laughs> nade does so much damage. And now it's just Nerds fell down in the last 1v2 attempt. He's low on HP. And they have a great idea of where he could be, where he could have gotten to in all this time. Two smokes. Smoke in the heart. That leaves Nerds with only one option to try and play it out through the door. They're on the bomb. And with this rifle. Oh! Looking to cover, Nissim gets back in time. And so Payne with a dominant win under their belts, locking Nerds out of back-to-back -back clutches and really driving home his lack of impact in this opening map. Payne leave themselves in a good spot now for the rest of the series. Mirage next. And with Payne looking like this, with the individuals showing up across the board,